Biodiversidad, conservación de especies y hormigas son algunos de los temas que nos vienen a la cabeza cuando mencionamos a Edward O. Wilson. En su reciente visita a España, el reputado entomólogo biólogo estadounidense impartió un seminario en el Museo Nacional de Ciencias Naturales del CSIC en Madrid, donde hizo honor a su sobrenombre El Señor de las Hormigas. Sink habla con el prestigioso científico recientemente galardonado con el premio Fundación BBVA Fronteras del Conocimiento en la categoría de Ecología y Biología de la Conservación. I believe that we can slow down the loss of biodiversity, but you know, it's very much, we are very much like in an automobile going at a fast speed, and we're going to a wall, and you part putting your foot on the brake. You can't just stop like that. You know, it's more like this. So what we have to do now is put the foot on the brake and stop letting species go extinct. We will lose some, but we can save most. Most species can be saved. Well, that's the mis mysterious thing. At the present time, we know uh, almost two million species, 1.9 million. And we have given that many a uh, scientific name, and identified it, learned to identify it, uh, giving it a two Linnaeus names, and uh, given it a description, a short description, uh, 1.9 million. But the actual number is probably uh, at least 10 million, and when we include bacteria and nematodes, little round worms, it could go to another tiny invertebrate creature. It could go to 100 million. We do not know what is on this planet. That's the thing. Even in Spain, even in England, they are still discovering new species all the time. At the end of the century, you think we will stop by the end of the century? I think we will. Uh, right now, you see, uh, we uh, are beginning to speed up the study of biodiversity. Uh, we are at a very low point because molecular biology thought that we thought that was all of biology, and many people did. But now we understand we cannot have a good ecology, we cannot have good conservation until we learn the species. And we know that we have only a small fraction, maybe 10% of the species known around the world and the rest are unknown. So uh, we have to speed up now. And I think it's possible that uh, with the new technology, the encyclopedia of life, new techniques of photography, uh, of course, internet transmission, uh, the development of um, a library Uh, under progress that will be online and have every one of the 500 million pages, 500 million pages, ever published on all species through all time. That's underway. Uh, we'll have that done. We'll have the Encyclopedia of Life complete if we can make it. And I think then with conservation effort, uh, with the right kinds of national parks and reserves and the knowledge and then a more educated people your generation or ge next generation next generation next generation in, in the 21st century yes we can stop the extinction you know the important thing to remember is that before humanity came along the average species extinction rate was one species ex going extinct per million species every year. So now we're in much, much higher, you know, getting like 10,000 every million per every year or more. And uh, we need to, we cannot com eliminate extinction probably completely, but we can bring it down, down, down until it, like the pre-human, pre-human, before humanity level. 
then we can live with nature. That is an extremely diff and difficult, important and difficult question. The main reason why the public, most people do not care about extinction. You know, in the, the shrinking of the living world is they don't know about it. They are ignorant. It is easy for them to understand climate warming, although not will not will accept it, but it's easier to understand. It's easy for them to understand that we are running out of oil, that we're running out of water, uh, but it's very difficult for them to grasp what the extinction of species is. You know, they don't even know what a species is. And they only have a vague idea. Most people in the United States, I think probably Spain too, uh, only have a little idea of how many, how much life there is in the biosphere. So without knowing any of that, being ignorant, uh, we, uh, it's very difficult uh, for them to, grow, to understand. So that's our job, is to uh, in, bring more and more of this into the media, into education, and then inter entertainment too, you know, to movies, TV programs and so on. It can be done. Yeah, I'll tell you what that is. Um, they, they resemble each other in having extremely advanced social systems. And it's what we call eusocial, E-U social. EU, EU social, which means truly social, that is at the extreme, which means division of labor with some who reproduce and others who redu reproduce very little or not at all to serve the rest. So humans very vaguely are in that position with extreme division of labor and uh, with taking care of young and, persist and the colony persisting over generations. That's the base of extreme social behavior. Um, but they share that. But after that, there are great, uh, enormous differences. All ant colonies are female. Males are not tolerated except for a very brief period of time and only a few are, are created in order to mate with the virgin queens. Uh, ants communicate almost entirely by pheromones, by releasing odors and taste, you know, they, they communicate by smelling, tasting, and they do it very fast. You know, the antennae, that's, they're covered with taste and, and smell receptors. And so they swing around and they are picking up an enormous vocabulary or messages in pheromones. And we only are beginning to understand all this. Of course, humans are highly unusual because they, we are audio-visual. Uh, we hear and we see. The ants hear very little and they see very little. So they have to depend, and they're all on the ground, mostly on the ground, so they have to depend on pheromones. Uh, and I, I tell you, ants are so different from humans in these respects that they are like a civilization we discovered on some distant star system. <laughs>